Um, my name is Dr. Kathy Ng. I'm a prof professor at MD Anderson Cancer Center, and um, I was the uh, ASCO discussant today for the rectal session regarding abstracts 3500, 3501, and 3502. Um, these were um, two of these, these phase three trials involved oxaliplatin as a radiation sensitizer, one being PEDX6, which basically randomized patients um, to capecitabine with radiation therapy followed by capecitabine or capecitabine and oxaliplatin. Um, followed by adjuvant um, KPOX following TME, obviously. Um, the primary endpoint for the study was disease-free survival, and it was pre previously presented, and this was an update of this analysis. And basically, unfortunately, there was no improvement in disease-free survival or overall survival based upon the most recent updated analysis. Um, the second study is the 4-walk study, which is um, a Chinese study, um, it was a three-arm study looking at the role of infusional 5-FU in radiation as, um, or uh, Folfox as a radiation sensitizer, or the third arm being basically omitting radiation therapy and just having Folfox as the treatment arm. All patients went to TME and then received the same regimen in the adjuvant setting. And the primary endpoint for that study as well was disease-free survival. The updated results um, actually demonstrated that there was no difference in disease-free survival, nor no difference in overall survival. Um, so I could say at this point that oxaliplatin should not be recommended as a radiation sensitizer in the setting for locally advanced rectal cancer. Um, I can say that the forework study actually had a unique third arm which omitted radiation therapy and I think that's quite interesting um, because the United States has an ongoing phase two, phase three trial of prospect with, in which the investigational arm is omitting radiation therapy in mid to high lying tumors. And then the last study I had the pleasure of discussing was the adjuvant study called ADORE from um, the Korean group. And this was a study that's also been previously presented and published. This was an updated analysis. And um, basically um, what it noted that um, patients following YP staging or post-op pathological staging were randomized to um, a, a, a infusional I'm sorry, a bolus schedule of 5-FU, which is a modified Mayo Clinic schedule versus full Fox. And um, basically, their three-year disease-free survival had been reported previously. It was positive specifically for YP stage three patients. This data here at this, um, uh, this year's ASCO was updated, and it confirmed once again the improvement of disease-free survival for the YP stage three patients for those that had received full Fox in comparison to the modified schedule of 5-FU. So I think it basically is one of the best studies to date that we have because there's not been a lot of really good studies in the adjuvant setting for rectal carcinoma, and a lot of them actually have never finished enrollment. Um, so this study basically demonstrates the benefit for Folfox for disease-free survival in the YP stage three patient population.